acquired this area up here for our Woodland Trust about 10 years ago. And during the, uh, the war, the Pacific War, um, they'd been digging for um, red earth, which was a very poor iron ore. But what happened was the, the groundwater flow was, was all stopped. Yeah. And the trees were very sick. Mm -hmm. So we built uh, 450 uh, meters of waterway with some ponds for habitat, mainly to get the groundwater flowing for the trees. And this area here is, is just before we put the water into the stream. So um, I wanted to mix oxygen in it. Yeah. And there are 12 little, little uh, waterfalls down to a stream which actually has trout in it. Uh, so this is, this is a very small example of playing with the habitat. You know. uh, playing or restoring, depending on which, which way you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with the habitat, maybe was one we destroyed it in the first place. No, we didn't destroy it. Not you, but no, the, the, the digging for the, uh, the red yeah, earth. For the red earth, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, we started off with only one species of dragonfly that we could see here. Now yeah. we have 43. I don't think I've ever seen 43 species of dragonfly anywhere. Really? No, I mean, I've seen four or five in one place, but 43. And, and then we have you know, frogs, newts, salamanders, mm -hmm. um, water scorpions, uh, mantis, you know, the water yep. mantis with, with, with the snorkel up its bum. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. Do know, I know <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you do any small stuff like this? Well, you know, uh, yeah, we do, and the, 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 the big, biggest thing is to actually preserve the small streams in the first place, rather than to let them, you know, be impacted. But unfortunately, on Vancouver Island, there's many places in British Columbia, the small streams that were completely clear cut. And the, the big thing in those areas really is to re-establish the riparian growth, re-establish the yeah. trees mm -hmm. and at, a, at a, a density that allows light into the stream because otherwise you, know, you, don't, you don't get any algal growth, you, you don't result in any invertebrates and there's yeah. going to be no fish out of that. So it does, it start just, just like here, it starts up in the, in the, in the uplands in, in British Columbia and, and that's, your, uh, that's your birthplace of your, of your stream. Because we're 700 meters here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll show you uh, what should be a, a salmon stream. Yes. I'm, I think, uh, like, like you and uh, also Robert Bateman, people yes. like him, that you, you have to take care of the little places. Indeed. They're, they're like the blood vessels yeah. that lead to the arteries. People yeah. concentrate just on the arteries, but you can kill your hand by cutting off a finger. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. the thing you get, get gangrene. Absolutely, yeah. and, and small streams like this uh, on the west coast of Canada, they do, they generally do have fish in them. They have either cutthroat trout or char in them, even even as small as this. And uh, the stream that it flows down to would, would, even at 700 meters in Canada, would, provided there's access to the ocean, would almost certainly have coal spawning in it. Uh -huh. So, uh, so coal will easily, I, I know streams that I work in regularly that are well above 700 meters at have coho salmon spawning them and they're only literally you could step across them yeah. they don't have to be very large streams to be important well i'll show you a stream that um, certainly has little char in it mm -hmm. and until 27 years ago when i began buying this land which is in northern nagano as you know yeah um it was full of garbage right so i cleaned the stream and i did something about the, the vegetation on the on the banks of the stream mm -hmm. And uh, I'll show you that afterwards. You know, we have groups of children come here, uh, especially groups of children uh, who, who uh, have sight difficulties, yeah. uh, sight impaired. Mm -hmm. And I talked to them about streams, and I said, okay, like, one like this, it's laughing. Yes, I understand and, what you're uh, saying. And if, if you have a laughing stream in the woods, mm -hmm. it's probably okay to drink. It's certainly okay to play with, it's not dangerous. True. Yeah, there's oxygen in the water, you don't have yeah. stagnant water. And, uh, yeah, and, the, and the First Nations uh, people of, of the Lillooa area that I'm working in right now in, in British Columbia, they, they talk about the song of the water, because it is, it's almost, 
as a song. It's been a laughter and song sound, yeah. and that's that's oxygen being added to the yeah. to the water, which is required by everything that lives in it. Well, let's go and see a sure. slightly bigger one. I'd love to. This is man-made. I'll show you one. This is man-man-safe. Great. Thanks.